Hey, this is Dot Too Fast here, and in this video, I will show you how to update the firmware on your Nikon D5200. The procedure is going to be the same for many of the Nikon DSLR camera. If you go onto the Nikon website and you select their support page, you will find your camera and see if it has an updated firmware available. So in this video, I will show you the entire procedure from beginning to end of how to update the firmware on your Nikon D5200 DSLR camera. So you get onto the Nikon website, click on the service and support page, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the model number of your camera. In this case, I'm looking for the D5200 camera. And right here you see D5200, you see that there's a C firmware 1.02 and that's the one you want to click on so it'll take you to the page for the D5200 firmware C102 upgrade and you scroll down for the Windows user go ahead and click on this I agree begin download button if you're a Mac user there's one on the right here I'm gonna click on the Windows here I'm using Internet Explorer so at the bottom you just click Save As, then choose a location where you want to save the firmware file. In this case, I'll just choose my desktop. So here's the file that I saved. Go ahead and double click on it. We'll run it. So what that will do is extract the file that you need into a folder called D5200 Update. Open that up. Now you see a D5200 underscore 0102 dot bin file. To check the firmware version that's currently on your D5200, go ahead and press the menu button at the top left corner here, and then go to the setup with the wrench icon here, and once you're in that menu, scroll down until you get to firmware version, select that, and you'll see a C version and an L version. The one you want to look at is the C version. This is currently at version 1.00 and we'll be upgrading it to 1.02. You need to transfer that bin file onto your SD card that's in the camera and what you'll need to do is first transfer all those pictures and videos you might have on the SD card over to your computer then format the SD card and here I'm about to format the uh, SD card go to the menu select the setup and then find the menu for format memory card click OK go to yes so OK. Now it's formatting the memory card. And it's done. Now turn off the camera and go ahead and pull the SD card out. Put this SD card into a card reader that's connected to your computer and copy that bin file onto this SD card. And here you can see that the SD card is plugged into my card reader on my computer. The top is a bin file that I need to copy over. So I'll select copy and then at the bottom here is my SD card and you want to copy this into the root directory and not in the dsim folder okay now you see the bin file is now on the SD card now before you continue on to the next step make sure you have a fully charged battery it has to be fully charged otherwise the update won't go through then you install the SD card back into your camera now turn it on, select the menu button and go back into setup to the firmware version, select OK and go down to update and click on OK. It will tell you if you want to go from the current version of 1.00 to the new version of 1.02. Scroll up to yes, select OK. Now it says warning, do not turn camera off during update. It will take several minutes. So now it tells you the update completed. You turn the camera off, remove the SD card, turn it back on, go to menu, go back into firmware version, 
verify that it's now at 1.02 and then at this time you need to turn it off again and leave it off for at least five seconds. I've waited about a minute and I will reinstall the SD card. Now don't forget the bin file is still on there so I'll turn it on. I'm going to go to menu and select the format memory card and I'll format this so that will erase all the files on it. You can go back to the firmware version and as you can see it's at version 1.02. So at this time you can continue using your camera and the firmware on this camera has been updated. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful if you're interested in upgrading the firmware on your D5200 camera. Anyways, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.